In this video, I'm going to tell you how I painted my Warhammer 40,000 Space Marines Assault Interceptors using only the paints in this box. You may remember these contents from an earlier unboxing video. Today, I'm going to show you how a novice painter can take these contents and make some great looking Space Marines. My name is Jay, and you're watching Must Contain Minis. I do reviews and showcases of miniatures and miniature related products. Now let's get into it. Games Workshop doesn't give you any spray-on primer in this kit. Instead what you do is you take this Citadel base abandoned black and you paint this on your miniature. Use this as your base coat and not only is it your base coat but this, act, this paint acts as your primer as well. After you prime the miniatures with the black, you move on to the next color. In this case the Macridge Blue. For best results, thin your paints with some water. I used the plastic from an old blister pack. You don't need to do this, but you will have better paint flow for your model if you do. Next I painted up the tips of their guns, the hilts of their swords, and the raised areas of their shoulder pads and chest emblem with Balthazar Gold. Who names these colors? I don't even know if I'm saying them right. Anyhow, from the top you can see that I still need to paint up the ultramarine and troop symbols with Corax white. You do this carefully. If you overshoot the lines, clean it up with the blue paint and redo it until you're happy with the results. By this point, we've used all four of these paints. As far as techniques go, we haven't done much yet. We've used the black paint as our primer and thin our paints with a bit of water on a palette if we are comfortable so doing. The next step is where the magic comes in. At this point we take the Citadel shade that comes in the set, the Agrix Earth Shade, again who names these things, sorry if I mispronounce them, but we take this shade and we apply it to the entire model. You're going to do this just by dipping your paintbrush in it and painting the entire model with this. And what this will do is it's going to, it's going to go into the recesses of your models and make those areas darker while it's going to leave the higher ridges and the other higher parts of your model lighter. So it's going to shade your model and it's going to make your model look really nice. This is a great technique for novices. You're not doing dry brushing or anything like that. You're just slathering on the paint to start thinly and nicely. And then once you get your base coat on, you're going to take the shade and here's how it looks. Just to show you how well the shade does, this is how the miniatures look before putting the shade on them and after the shade. You can see how the shade really pops those details off of the model and makes it look fantastic. And here we have comparison pictures of the models before and after the shade. So on the top row you have the models before putting the shade on it and on the bottom row you have it after I applied the shade. You can see how much better those bottom miniatures look. And that doesn't take much effort to do at all. It's a perfect technique for a novice. Here are the final miniatures. All that's left to do is to add the technical astral granite paint. Wait, 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 wait. I told you that I was going to paint these miniatures with only what's in the box. I'm looking at this paint. I do not want to put my brand new starter brush in that paint. I think it'll wreck my starter brush. Uh, what I recommend you do instead is to get uh, some dentist tools from a, a surplus store or a paintbrush you don't care about or some, a paintbrush from the dollar store even and uh, use that. Don't, don't put your nice brushes in that. I don't think it'll clean that nicely. I could be wrong but I couldn't do it so I'm going to finish with the miniatures as they were and not put this on there until I get a different tool. There you have it. That is how I painted up my Space Marines from the Space Marines Assault Interceptors Plus Paints starter set using only the paints within the box. 
The miniatures look awesome. The paints, they go together really well with the, with the shade and the paints. A novice can paint these up quickly and they look great. We're done here. Um, if you want to take it another step further, if you want to go beyond novice, you can dry brush um, some features back on. What I do normally is I would take the same colors that I painted it with to begin with, and I would dry brush some more of that on just to make some brighter highlights on the model. But you don't need to do that. These miniatures are tabletop ready now. Thank you for joining me in this video. If you liked the content, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Until next time, happy gaming everyone.